I came across this question in a previous live stream, and supposedly it's a middle school math problem from Finland. A pine tree is now two times as old as a spruce tree was when the spruce tree was two times as old as the pine. The spruce is now 315 years old. What is the age of the pine tree? There's a lot going on with this question, just in the first sentence alone. So let's visualize it to make it more clear. Let's represent each tree as bars to demonstrate their age. We have a pine tree, which is two times as old as the old spruce tree, of which the old spruce tree is two times as old as the old pine tree. So let's draw a tall green bar for the current pine tree, and a light green bar for the old pine tree, then a light red bar for the old spruce. Finally, let's have a tall red bar representing the current spruce tree. Now with this visualized, we have a better grasp on the age differences between all of the trees. We can represent these relationships with three different equations. The first is that the pine is equal to twice the old spruce. The old spruce is equal to twice the old pine. Finally, the current spruce is 315 years old. One slide aside, the bars are not to scale. They are just to demonstrate the relationships between the tree's ages. So we have three equations. But where do we go from here? There isn't much direction and it can seem a little confusing. We only have three equations and that's not enough. I went through this problem five times when I first encountered it, and I just stared at it. I was overwhelmed with all the information coming in, and I did not know how to organize my thoughts. This should have been an easy systems of equation problem. But what was I missing? There has to be another piece, but I can't see it. So before you think you're a failure at middle school math, abandon your family and your career, leave your home, catch a flight, travel to a small fishing village in Siberia, and become a fisherman for the rest of your life in shame, let's take a second shot at the problem really looking into it. If you were to look closely at the chart, there's actually a really hidden variable in there. A little closer, a little more, just a little bit more. There, we have the variable t. Time has passed between the old spruce and the new spruce, and also between the old pine and the new pine. This is another variable and another set of equations we can work with, and we can actually solve it now. We now have the equations spruce is equal to t plus old spruce and pine is equal to t plus old pine, where t is the amount of time that has passed. But wait, we know that the old spruce is twice as old as the old pine, so the new spruce equation is t plus 2 times the old pine. We also know that the new pine is 4 times the old pine through plugging in the equations. So 4 times the old pine is set equal to t plus the old pine, or that t is equal to 3 times the old pine. We can now plug this right back into the new spruce, which is equal to t plus 2 times the old pine. And now that we know t is equal to 3 times the old pine, we can plug that in. So we have 3 times the old pine plus 2 times the old pine is equal to 5 times the old pine. And this is perfect because we know exactly how old the spruce is. It's 315 years old. So now we can divide 315, the current age of the spruce, by 5, and we can get the old pine age, which is 63. Finally, we plug that into the new pine. The new pine is equal to 4 times the old pine, which is equal to 4 times 63, equal to 252. Finally, we were able to solve this. At first, it was a little overwhelming, but with a little bit of math magic, we were able to solve this problem. So it wasn't too bad after all. It just took some thinking and really looking closely at all the parts. Not too bad, eh? No need to go to that fishing village anymore. Unless you really want to. There's nothing wrong with a little fishing. This was a fun little problem to work through from my live stream, where I was practicing for a speedrun. Specifically, an SAT speedrun. If you've never seen an SAT speedrun before, you should definitely check that video out. And if you want to see a little bit of a shorter video with a fun little animation, check out my other video on the questions I got wrong on my speedrun. Either way, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.